Alright, are you ready? What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a third year medical student studying King's College London and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how I prepared for my medical school interviews and hopefully give you guys some extra tips as to how you can do that yourself. Before I start the video, uh, I want to say four things. The first thing is, if you recognize me wearing the exact same clothes as the other videos, it's because I sat down all at once after my hospital placement, filming this video for you guys. Uh, so yes, I do own more than one shirt. The second thing I want to say is that I do run personal uh, mock interviews over Skype. So if you'd like to arrange a mock interview with me one-to-one, uh, -one, head over to my website and all the information is on there. The third thing I want to say is that I've made a bunch of videos in the past about how to prepare for your medicine interviews. So go ahead and watch those after watching this video. And lastly, if you have any comments or suggestions as to any videos I should make in the future, please leave them down below and I'll make sure that I get those videos made for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first way to prepare for the interview is to know exactly what to expect in that MMI. I wrote a few things down here. These are a few things I recommend you guys to know before preparing for the MMI. The first thing is find out exactly what the MMI format is. Normally I send you out like an attachment in an email to tell you exactly the different stations. If you haven't received an invitation for interview yet, uh, go online. There are a ton of resources about other students that have gone through the interview themselves. And also if you head onto the university website of that particular medical school, they should give you a bit of information about the different stations um, that will be there on the day of your interview. The next thing you want to know is whether or not it's a panel interview or an MMI interview. Broadly speaking, the medical school interviews uh, in the UK tend to be MMI, which stands for multiple mini interviews. Um, some interviews, I think, do use panel interviews. I don't think that's very popular anymore. They do just tend to be MMI interviews, but know exactly what type of interview it will be. The next thing you want to know is the number of stations to expect. Different medical schools have a different number of stations. It really is important to know um, exactly how long the interview will be. You also want to make sure that you know the type of stations to expect. There are different types of stations that there could be. There are you know, ethical stations, there are uh, problem solving stations, there are data interpretation stations, there are motivation and insight into medicine stations. There's loads of different types of stations that they could possibly have. So you want to know exactly what to expect, what type of stations they'll be, and what type of information that they'll be covering and asking you about. You also want to know exactly how much time you'll have in each station. You want to be mentally prepared for the amount of time that you want to speak. And also while you're practicing for that interview, you want to set a timer on your phone and know exactly how much time you have so you can practice uh, answering questions to that specific time limit. As a summary, before you walk into that interview room, you want to know exactly what is coming for you, exactly what to expect. Sometimes it can be hard to know exactly what's happening, but the more you know about that station, the more you know about that day, the better you will perform. The second thing that I went on to doing to prepare for my interviews is online research. To be honest with you, the majority of the information that I had when preparing for my interviews was all through the internet. There are a ton of resources out there that you can use to prepare for your interviews. I'll leave some links down below of some great resources that you can have a look at when preparing for your interviews. Just to name a few, I used the Medic Portal, the BMA website as well, it was really, really good for preparing as well. And also, of course, I used a number of YouTube videos to help me prepare for my interviews. As I said, there are a ton of free resources online that you can use. There is tons of information from past medical students and also current medical students as well. So use that information as well as you can. Sit down and write notes based off of what you find online. And that should be really helpful in preparing for your interviews. The next thing that I did to prepare for my interviews, which is really, really important, is to speak to medical students and to speak to as many doctors as possible. I remember sitting down with a few of my friends who were medics. Um, they're really helpful to tell me what to expect, the sorts of questions that they had in their actual medical school interviews. And because they recently had their own interviews, they normally provide the most up-to-date information that you should really know for your interview as well. I also sat down with one or two doctors who I knew to help me out with the information that I need to know for the medical school interviews. I actually sat down with this one doctor who I met in my lab and he was so, so helpful. Like he was extremely key when helping me prepare for my interviews. A number of the things that he actually mentioned to me in person in that meeting did actually come up in the interviews, which I believe made a huge, huge difference. But some things you can talk about is really try and pick their brains, you know, ask them what sort of topics they think you should cover. They can possibly give you advice on ethical scenarios, uh, consent, mental capacity, all the kind of basic things and principles that are required uh, for medical school. But you also want to make sure that you come to them with actual questions. Use the time that they give you, particularly scenario-based questions, scenario questions, ethical questions. These are probably the hardest questions that you may struggle to answer at your level. To come to these doctors with questions that they can have answered for you, arrange a one or two hour meeting, bring them some chocolates, bring them some like, you know, nice gifts to like soft them up, but use your time wisely. They're really one of the most valuable resources that can help you prepare for your medical school interviews. 
The next way that I prepare for my medical school interviews is by arranging mock interviews. To be completely honest with you guys, mock interviews are probably the most important way of preparing for interviews. I cannot stress that enough. If you're going to like, let's say a driving test, you wouldn't walk into that driving test without having experienced what an actual test is like. You want to practice as much as you possibly can. This really, really is key. You really don't want the actual interview day to be your first ever interview. You want to have been in a position where you practice this before. It's all about, you know, practicing to speak, practicing your pace of speaking, uh, getting used to actually thinking on the spot, and most importantly, getting back to uh, calming your nerves. It really, really is important to be able to, um, you know, become fluid in speaking. And all of these things can only be done through practice. Practice, practice, practice. And honestly, it doesn't necessarily have to be with a doctor or a medical student. Uh, in terms of my mock interviews that I arranged, one of them was through my uh, university lecturers. I really asked her if she can give me some sort of like mock interview. She sat me down and gave me a full mock interview, which really, really was helpful. I also had two more mock interviews, which I arranged with my careers department. So if you're in college, go speak to the careers team, ask them if they could possibly sit down with you and you know, ask you some medical questions. If they're not willing to do that, maybe ask your parents, do some research yourself, prepare a bunch of questions, don't prepare the answers, just the questions, give it to your parents, give it to your sister, your brother, ask them to sit down with you and you know have yourself practice speaking back to them. But it really, really is important to arrange interviews. Um, obviously, the more medical they are, if you can get an interview arranged with a medical student or a doctor, that would be you know probably the best thing because they can give you um, personalized feedback but whatever kind of mock experience you have, it really, really will be absolutely valuable for you before you go in to do your actual interviews. The next way to prepare for medical school interviews um, is through courses. To be honest with you, I didn't use any course at all. It really was to do with more financial reasons. At the time when I was preparing for my medical school interviews, I was still doing a degree that I had to pay for and fund. So I had to pay for all of my living fees at university. So I personally didn't go for any interview courses, but some of my friends who did said they were really, really useful. It really is down to you, down to your financial situation as to whether you want to uh, attend these courses. I spoke to a few of my friends and they said that one of the courses that they attended was the ISC medical course. Again, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out. I don't think it's absolutely necessary to attend an interview course. If you have the money and you have the ability to, of course, you know, the more the merrier, but I don't think it's an absolutely necessary part of the application. Consider it, have a look at the links down below, see whether or not it's something you want to attend and then possibly consider attending it. The last way to prepare for your interview is to also buy a number of books that can help you um, give you a bit more information about what to expect in the interview and the sorts of questions that might come up. I personally didn't buy any books. I probably should have, uh, but I didn't buy any books at all. So I will talk to a few of my friends who are medics who did buy some books and I'll leave that down in the description below. That's pretty much it guys i wanted to make a really really quick video i know some of you probably already have invitations for medical school interviews so i wanted to get this video out as soon as possible so hopefully it's given you some ideas about you know how to start preparing for the actual medical school interview and get ahead of the game the things i would also recommend is to start preparing as soon as possible if you really are serious about medical school it probably is best to start preparing for these interviews even before you get invitations to be honest with you i had about five days to prepare for my medical school interview which wasn't that much time so you really want to start you know thinking about what to expect in the interview, and exactly how to answer these different scenarios and different stations. So the earlier you prepare, the better. You may have other commitments outside of these interviews as well. For example, I was in my third year of biomedical science. I had so much coursework, I had my dissertation to write, and I still had to prepare for these interviews on the side. So of course, it is very difficult. The earlier you start preparing, the better. Again, I really hope this video has been informative. I hope it's given you guys an idea of how to start preparing for the interview. If you have any suggestions about any particular area, of the MMR that you want me to tackle, leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any further videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.